the Outlet Baby uh, Care booth with Chris Stroud, and you guys have an interesting, sorry, Chris Stroud. That's right. You have a, uh, an interesting product here. Tell us about it. Yeah, so the Outlet Care product was designed to basically alert parents when their baby stops breathing or if their baby stops breathing. Um, the device itself is inserted within a sock. It's similar to the pulse oximeters you see in the hospital, those little red lights you clip to your finger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the, the sock sizes can change. It's a common question. But we can actually remove the device and, uh, and then replace it. But the sock itself monitors the heart rate, the oxygen level, the skin temperature, and the movement patterns of the baby. Now it communicates that information via radio waves along with about 14 other elements to a base station. Now the base station is meant to sit on the parent's nightstand. Okay, and that's the base, what we're looking at right that's here. That's what we're looking at right here. So I have an eight-month-old, and our I have an eight-month-old, and our base station sits on my parents uh, on my uh, wife's side of the bed. And if the uh, child starts to struggle or distress, they are asphyxiating. They've stopped breathing then what happens is the alarm will go off. Okay, and I think you demonstrated, uh, do the alarm for us here. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the alarm, and if you get close, you can hear it. Yeah, you aren't going to miss that in the middle of the night. That's, that's right. <laughs> not now, too horrible, but yeah. you're, go you're waking up for that. That's right. It's not too bad at all. But you wake up. The first time it went off, I, I leaped out of bed, right, and, uh, and ran to my son's room. Now, the base station also communicates through Wi-Fi uh, to a mobile app that can sit on your phone and in real time report statistics. So we have Clark here who's a child in Utah and we're in Las Vegas right now and you can see his heart rate and his oxygen level changing in real time. Wow. If, if his alarm was to go off, if his oxygen were to go off, his base station would fire an alarm and his application would fire an alarm as well. So even though Clark's dad is at home and Clark's mom is here, you know, they would both know about it. Wow, that's pretty cool. So the sock, uh, show, show the inside for the, uh, for the camera here. So the sock itself has two sensors that fit within it. And as we said earlier, it monitors over 18 different elements. Now, we don't want moms stressing about the data. So the application only shows them two elements and only shows it in real time. We're basically saying, your baby's fine. You can see that your baby's fine. And we, we capture that data and then we, we monitor it ourselves. And, uh, what do you mean you monitor it yourselves? Well, when an alarm happens, we actually have a data science team that looks at the alarm and they want to figure out, was it our app? Was it our device? Or was it the parent's device? And whereas our false alarms are far below industry average, um, we have often found that when a parent calls in and says, the alarm's gone off several times, I'm not sure why, we've been able to say, we can tell it's not our product. And so by saying that, what we're able to say is, it's probably something you should look into, but oh. as we're not a medically approved device. So you can't say there's something wrong with the baby, but you can say there's not something wrong with the device, so. It's up to you to make the next choice. Oh, That's wow. right. Oh, interesting. And we have had parents who have called us and said, well, I'm having the alarm going off. What can you tell? And we've been able to say, we can tell it's not our product. And they were subsequently able to uh, go to their doctor. And in many cases, they found issues that their doctor was able to identify. Sure, sure, yeah, that's the right way to handle it. Yeah. But so you're saying the data about Clark is not only going to, to his mother's cell phone and to the father who's got this uh, the receiver by the nightstand, it's also going to you guys? Yeah, so we store it on our servers. So we've tracked, just in the past, few, uh, past year, we've tracked over 18 billion heartbeats. Wow. And uh, that data allows us to understand algorithms. We've been able to see sometimes when infants have cases of sleep apnea. Now again, we're not, we're not a medically approved device yet. We're going through clinicals and uh, we are being reviewed by the FDA as in going through that process of being approved by them and we're hoping to have approval in the near future. So do you have to follow HIPAA uh, requirements, which is the United States laws about uh, having medical data shared and protected? Do you have to do that? So we don't share that data. It's used for the device improvement. But we're not a medical device, so it's not technically considered I got you. I got medical you. data. Okay. Well, yeah, that, but that, we that makes will sense. be. A, we are already abiding by and, and 
building all of the systems and infrastructure to abide by HIPAA. So you can't do that when you get to it. Exactly. Right? But technically, if the FDA were to say, what are you doing? They would first say, well, you're not a medical device, so yeah. this, is right, how right, you, right. this data is assisting you in the improvement of the device. The data allows us to refine how the device reads the you know how the device reads the data and when it should fire an alarm. Okay. Okay. Got that it. Sense. Very cool. So uh, it's called the Outlet Baby Care. That's correct. And how much does this cost? It costs two hundred and fifty dollars. It's available at outletcare.com, um, and you will see it in retail stores this year, most likely in Target, Babies R Us, and Bye Bye Baby, who we're in talks with. Okay, so that's Owlet, O W L E T dot com. Owletcare.com. You're well, okay. at least I spelled owl for that's it. That's right, because it's a baby owl, right? Owlet. Oh, yeah, so it's there good. you go. All right, thank you very much. This was thank great. Thank you. Pleasure.